Reflect today. How are we tending to God's vineyard in our lives? Are we cultivating good fruits through prayer, virtuous living and gratitude? Are we open to God's call and receptive to his messengers? My dear friend, the readings for the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time offer us a profound message about God's vineyard, His call to labor in it, and the importance of producing good fruits. A first reading reminds us that God has blessed us abundantly, granting us the talents, resources, and opportunities to bear good fruit in our lives. It challenges us to examine whether we are using these gifts for His glory and the benefit of others, or if we are producing wild grapes through sin and selfishness. A second reading emphasizes the importance of maintaining a peaceful and virtuous disposition in our lives. It reminds us that our inner disposition and the choices we make impact the fruits we bear in our spiritual vineyard. A gospel highlights the gravity of our responsibility to bear good fruits and reminds us that God's vineyard is entrusted to us with the expectation of producing harvest of righteousness. St. Teresa of Calcutta, widely known as Mother Teresa, Exemplify the message in Matthew chapter 21 verses 33 to 43 through her selfless dedication to serving the poorest of the poor in Calcutta, India and around the world. The vineyard in her context could be symbolized the impoverished and destitute communities in Calcutta, India. These were people who were often overlooked and neglected by society much like the vineyard in the parable. Mother Teresa's call to serve the poor was, in a way, a divine intervention. She felt a strong calling from God to care for the least of these and respond to this call with unwavering commitment. Mother Teresa's life was marked by the bearing of good fruits. She founded the Missionaries of Charity a religious congregation dedicated to serving the poor, the sick, and the dying. Her ministry provided shelter, food, medical care, and love for thousands of individuals in need, often in the direst circumstances. Just as the owner in the parables and messengers who were mistreated by the tenants, Mother Teresa faced many challenges in her mission, including limited resources, oppositions and even personal doubts. However, she persisted in her work, trusting in God's guidance. Mother Teresa deeply recognized that her work was not about personal glory, but about serving God's people. She often spoke of seeing the face of Christ in the poor and viewed her service as a way of tending to God's vineyard. Mother Teresa's life and ministry served as a powerful message of conversion to those who encountered her work. Many people inspired by her example were led to reevaluate their own lives and priorities, tending to lives of greater compassion and service. From the life of St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, we see how a saint's dedication to serving the marginalized and bearing good fruits aligns with the message in Matthew chapter 21 verses 33 to 43. It underscores the importance of recognizing and responding to God's call to care for those in need, even in challenging circumstances, and the transformative power of a life lived in the service of others for the glory of God. Reflect today. How are we tending to God's vineyard in our lives? Are we cultivating good fruits through prayer, virtuous living and gratitude? Are we open to God's call 
and receptive to his messengers. May the words of Jesus redeem us. Amen.